hello everyone welcome to the innovation lab in this video we are going to perform a test to see if it would be possible to use a constant current dc to dc bulk converter as an efficient solar charge controller all right my friends let's get to it so the idea to make this video came from the multiple feedback and comments that I received from you guys from my previous videos where we did some uh, testing to see if we can use a constant current DC to DC boost converter to replace an MPPT solar charge controller. So I got a lot of uh, good feedback from you guys uh, kind of uh, saying that um, I should be able to try using a DC to DC bulk converter instead to get a better result. And that is the reason why I am performing this test since I already have this constant current DC to DC bulk converter, which I've showed in uh, previous videos. So I'm just gonna use it this time um, to perform a test uh, to see what kind of a result we're gonna get. All right. So what we have here is a very simple setup. So I have my power coming in from the solar panels, as you can see here, and it goes into to the first uh, digital power monitor, which is gonna be at the input. And from there, we connect to our DC to DC bulk converter. And we have another uh, digital power monitor on the output of the converter. And from there, it goes to our battery. So, and the reason for all of this is to enable us to see what's going on, what's coming in from the solar panel, going into the DC to DC bulk converter. And from there, we can see what's actually being delivered to our battery pack. All right, my friends, uh, let's go ahead and do the voltage adjustments and the current adjustments. And we kind of see how the system is gonna behave. All right, so the first thing we're going to do with our battery disconnected, will be to adjust the output voltage of this DC to DC bulk converter to about 14.4 volts because that will be what we need to charge our lithium phosphate battery pack. So, and as we do that, we keep an eye on the uh, digital power monitor. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, as you can see, we are now at 14.4 uh, volts and the next thing now we are going to do will be to connect our battery and we adjust our charging current. So what I'm seeing here is that every time we get to a charging current of about 2.5 amps, the system will crash. And I don't know why it is doing that. So we approach 2.5 amps and above 35 watts going into the battery, the system will crash and we have to readjust it again. All right, my friends. So what I'm seeing here is that every time I try to exceed a charging current of uh, about 2.3 or 2.4 amps, um, the output 
of the DC to DC bulk converter will crash. And you will hear this, you know, humming noise kind of telling you that the boost converter has lost regulation. And um, so what that tells me is that this doesn't work. So what I'm seeing is that even though I'm using a 200 watts um, solar panel as my power source, and right now I'm performing this test right at around noon, and we have a lot of uh, irradiance today. So I was expecting to see at least close to 10 amps being delivered uh, to our battery if this DC to DC bulk converter was to work well. And this DC to DC bulk converter was rated at 15 amps. So something else is going on here that tells me that this bulk converter is not ideal for solar charging. I can't quite explain it since I did not uh, design this. It's a cheap converter that I bought from uh, Amazon. So maybe it has to do with this specific converter. Maybe you guys have a better result than I, I am getting here. Um, and if you do, please uh, share your result and your experience in the comment so we can also learn from you. All right, my friends, this doesn't seem to work for me and uh, I'm going to leave it here at this point. I know that a lot of people will look at the test and say maybe it has something to do with the radiance or the solar panels, maybe not. The, maybe the problem is not with the uh, DC to DC bulk converter. So what I had done was to uh, do a kind of a control test using this MPPT solar charge controller. And uh, so let's go ahead and see what we're getting now. So the same conditions, I'm basically doing this like five minutes apart. So let's see what's going on. This is a very uh, sunny day. We don't have any clouds. So basically uh, the same conditions and uh, done five minutes apart. So now let's look at, let's take a closer look and see what kind of currents and charging currents we're getting going into our battery pack. All right. So looking here at our EPVR MPPT charge controller, this is the control interface. So as you can see here, so let's see what we're getting and what's going on here. So we're getting a PV input of 26 volts a PV input current of 7.6 amps, a battery voltage of uh, 14 volts, and we're getting 14 amps going into the battery. This is amazing. So this goes to show, um, prove what I was saying. As you can see here that the battery is charging at 14 amps. So that this is crazy. All right, this goes to show us that the issue basically was the uh, DC to DC bulk converter. So if you're one of those people out there using this DC to DC bulk converter or something similar to it to charge your batteries, maybe you don't have monitors connected to show you what exactly it's doing, I would highly recommend that you do this very carefully because you may end up backfeeding power to your solar panels and damaging your solar panels over time. All right, my friends, we have come to the end of this video. It's funny that we started with the DC to DC bulk converter, but we ended up with the MPPT solar charge controller as we have done in the past. And uh, for most of you out there, the, my videos are not sponsored. So I'm just providing an unbiased, honest opinion. So I hope you like this video. I hope you learned something from this video. And if you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and uh, share our video with your friends and your uh, family and anybody that may be interested in the kind of videos that we're making. And we will really appreciate it. That will help our channel grow. And um, yeah. That's it, my friends. I will see you guys in the next video.